Why hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make Bakugo's bracers. I started making my Bakugo outfit months before Momocon 2018 and I did research online and uh, I did my own version and you know it came out the way it came out. Uh, the bracers looks like this. This is my first attempt. This is the Mark 1. As you can tell, it's a little bit rough. Made it out of uh, foam. I used Velcro to seal it and as you can see, it's falling apart. And I keep constantly gluing it and it's getting to the point where the glue doesn't stick on anymore. And this was a little bit longer and I had to immediately cut it. And the reason being is because when you put the gauntlets on, this was sticking out. So after making the gauntlets, the gauntlets was like the last thing I made. I was like running out of time. So out of desperation, I basically cut it. So that's why I look like this. It, it had like the, uh, the ends here, like over here, but yeah, had to cut it. So after Momocon 2018, I decided to make the bracers again. And this is what my bracers look like. This is the Mark II. It's definitely a lot cleaner. And when I made this, it's a lot more efficient. So here's the comparison of the Mark I, Mark II. Mark II is definitely a lot more cleaner. And uh, Mark I is like falling apart here. You see here, and you can also see the Velcros coming apart here. So I definitely learned from my mistakes of the Mark I and made a Mark II. And of course, with the gauntlets on, you can't see the bracers. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the template that I'm gonna be making for this project. It's gonna be the same one that I made with the uh, Mark II. It looks something like this. It's going to be seven and a half by seven. Each of these squares are one and a half by one and a half. Now keep in mind this pattern is designed for me with my forearm. But uh, what the great thing about this project is kind of sort of like a one size fits all kind of ordeal because of the elastic so if you have a bigger forearm than me you know it's like you can have like a bigger elastic part and it should be able to fit then we're going to transfer the uh pattern onto two millimeter foam something like this you can get this anywhere you get this at like a walmart joann's um, i would like to use four millimeter foam that's like the perfect thickness for the bracers but um, I couldn't find it in stores, so we're just gonna double up on two millimeter foam. It's gonna look something like this. I double up on the uh, two millimeter foam on the uh, Mark II. So now I'm going to cut four pieces of this pattern here. And also a heads up, on uh, this project we're gonna be using sharp tools, solder, spray paint, hot glue guns, things like that. So if you don't feel comfortable, make sure you have an adult supervise you during this project. All right, so I cut out the uh, four pieces. It's gonna look something like this. Uh, next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this design that looks just like this onto two of the four pieces. All right, once you're done with that, we're gonna use the square that we made. And as you can see here, I made a little hole. We're gonna like put a little dot in the center of those squares. All 
All right, next we're going to make the nubs on the uh, bracers. And what we're going to use is the uh, Eva Foam dowels. This is 15 millimeters thick. You can get them at Joann's. And we're going to make about 40 nubs. And this is going to be about like a quarter inch uh, long. make our designs out of the outer part of the bracers. We're going to use a solder and we're going to make our lines for the outer part. Now here's a tip because this gets hot and it's going to burn through the uh, foam really quickly. Don't put a lot of pressure onto it You know, just gently stroke it. And what I do is like don't do like one line straight across because if you do that, there's a very good chance you might <laughs> go off axis and then next thing you know, you, you mess up the whole thing. So what I would do is just like go one square at a time. It gives you a greater chance of not screwing up. And just take your time. You know, you don't have to rush. And then sure enough, you'll score the lines for your, your bracers. All right, once we're done scoring the lines on our bracers, what we're gonna use is the Loctite High Performance 200 spray adhesive. We are gonna spray the back of this. And then we're gonna get the other piece that has nothing on it, spray on one side, let it dry for 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, we put it together. And it should bond very, very securely. Once you're done gluing the two layers together, you can put it aside for about an hour or two to dry, or it's best just to leave it overnight. I left it overnight um, to get the maximum hold, and that's definitely not going anywhere. So the next step is I'm gonna use the heat gun to shape it to my forearm. And uh, in the Mark II, like I didn't do it. I don't think it's necessary to use the heat gun to shape, but I'm gonna do it anyhow. Because like, like this, for example, I didn't use the heat gun. It's always going to look like this. If you use the heat gun and shape it, it's going to like forever be in that hold. Like if, if I would have used the heat gun, this would have been a lot more closed. So it'd be a lot more circular. So I'm going to like use a heat gun this time around. So because I like that fitted look. Here's what it looks like so far. It's definitely getting there. Now with the next step, we are going to use contact cement. And we are going to glue one side of the nubs, all 40 of them. And then we're gonna rub some contact cement in the center here of each of the squares. And once you apply the contact cement on there, you have to leave it on for about 20 minutes and once it dries then you can be able to put it together.
All right, once this is dry overnight, you see that these nubs ain't going nowhere. We're gonna prime this first. I'm gonna prime it with Plasti Dip, and we're gonna use three layers of Plasti Dip. And each layer, you just let it dry for about like 30 minutes to an hour. And then after the third coat, just leave it dry overnight. The first coat, you, know, you could just do like a light coat. You don't have to cover everything. Second one, you go over and make sure like everything else is covered. And third one would be like a solid uh, coat. Here's what it looks like dried overnight. You're gonna see some imperfections like this. This kind of got split. That's all good. We could just always hot glue gun it later. The plastic dip is dry. Now we are going to spray paint this bad boy. I'm gonna use metallic silver. This is what I'm gonna use to spray paint it. Uh, same method, I'm going to do it three times, um, let it dry in between 30 minutes to an hour. After the third coat, leave it dry overnight. Okay, so at this point, this is what the bracers look like. Definitely very shiny. I like the metallic silver. Um, compared to the Mark II, I could have sworn I used metallic silver on this one, but um, I guess not. I think I just used gray. Um, if you notice, if you can see here, it gets, it's all a little crackly. You know, after some wear and tear here and there, um, I did not use a clear like coating at the end and I should have done that so you could lock the color in and this is what we're gonna do but before we do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna get like a small like paintbrush with uh, black paint we're gonna go over the lines that we score on the bracers and we're gonna put like a little circle here on each of the uh, nubs and then once we complete all that then we're gonna go outside again we're gonna put a clear coating and then let it dry we you don't need to do like three coats just only like one one coat of the uh, clear and then uh, let it dry overnight and then we're at the final step We're not gonna use hard elastic this time around. Gonna use this like, you know, stretch fabric. Got like a bunch left over. And um, I think this will do. If you buy like stretch fabric, I believe this is like a two way uh, stretch fabric. Just make sure it stretches to the, the proper uh, direction. Cause I think this, oh. Well, I could, I think I could do either way, but there's two way stretch or four way stretch. Just be careful of two way stretch, because if you stretch it the wrong way, it's not going to stretch properly. 
So we're just gonna use this and attach it to the back of here using a glue gun. I'm having a hard time holding this down, so I'm going to use fabric clips to assist me here. All right, here is the final product. These look sick. And the, uh, the soft fabric is definitely, definitely awesome compared to the heavy one. Um, my suggestion, uh, this is the first one I did. Um, made it a little too tight, I made it like this much. Try to get some slack, cause you know, I got big hands and kind of like tortoise, but it's not really a big deal. So I gave it a little more slack on this one for the second one. And this is so much better. So this fits on just like that. This one I'm gonna have to, eh, it's not too bad. But yeah, fits like a glove. In fact, speaking of gloves, let me put the gloves on real quick. And here's what it looks like with with the gloves on and yeah, this looks so amazing i love the color i love the detail i love the nubs you know what's crazy like you know i'm gonna be wearing the gauntlets most of the time so when i take off the gauntlets like you know this would be revealed and this adds more of a wow factor to the people so i really can't wait to show this off um i do need to redo my gloves and my sleeves uh once i do like i'll make a video out of it and show you guys how to make it which brings me to the next question. Which tutorial video you guys want me to make next with Bakugo's cosplay? Post your answers in the comments below. Well, that's it with the tutorial video. It's definitely fun making this video. If you found this tutorial video very helpful, please like this video and post your comments down below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.